I'm currently reading my Bible in this one year reading plan, which is you read the whole Bible in one year. And I've done this a number of times, which is a reflection of how many years I've actually lived and not how devoted I am. But this year I thought I'd do it differently. I decided to read the message, which is a very paraphrased version of the Bible written in today's language and, and see what that was like. And I re I'm feeling so blessed by reading the message. However, there's one word of warning. The message is, a, is very, very paraphrased. And many times I felt I've needed to read the same passage in, more, in the more familiar NIV or N New King James Version, which I feel are much more accurate. So let me give you an example. A few months ago, I found this text in Proverbs 21, 31, and it says in the message, do your best, prepare for the worst, then trust God to bring victory. That text really resonated with me, particularly in this coronavirus era that we find ourselves in. We have to do our best. We need to look at all the risks and manage them and then trust in God. We want to provide the safest environment possible for our churches as they reopen, our schools and our, also our aged care facilities. But then I read the same text in the New King James Version and this is what the New King James Ver Version says. The horse is prepared for the day of battle, but deliverance is of the Lord. Huh? How did we get do your best, prepare for the worst, then trust God to bring victory? out of this text of preparing a horse for battle and deliverances of the Lord. So I decided to do some more research and I looked at some Bible commentaries and I found out that Solomon was the first king of Israel who used horses for battle. Horses were not used for any other purpose. For us today, this would mean that we have the latest and greatest equipment and tools at our disposal which we should use wisely. But at the end of the day, God is in control. It's not our battle, it's God's battle. And so it's also His victory. And we can count on that.